Right, it is the next day and it's all back together. I finished about 10 p.m. last night. It's quite involved, but once you've got the C-frame all bowled up, doors go on quite easily. Now, let me tell you what's going on. This door is a bit tricky. So up here, it's adjusted a lot. So it's about seven mil, seven mil higher than it was before. Um, that in and of itself is not necessarily a problem. The thing is that this can't actually go any lower, which is why it's that high. The alignment's actually not bad. It's, uh, but it's just got a different alignment than it did last time. Um, door fits nicely, but you can see here the line is off. It'd be nice to get that, you know, just a few mil lower. We've got the adjustment for it in the hinges. Except the problem is this, that does not go any lower. That is the lowest it will go, which leads me to believe that the C-pillar is about five mil higher than it, than it needs to be or should be. Um, so I've been doing some measuring. It does seem a bit higher than the previous one. You know, it's, not, it's, or it's, it's further back than it was previously, but it's not as close to the outer skin as it should be. Now this thing is as far back as it will go. This plate won't go far back at all. Now it does line up on that hole, kind of. This one doesn't line up at all. You can see the hole just poking out from the side there. Now on the original one, it's quite interesting. This hole was elongated. You can see that. It was actually elongated, I believe, at the factory. And that, that elongated hole just onto the side of that there, does actually line up with the hole through here. So that's intriguing. But why is this higher? Um, before I get onto that, there's a couple other interesting things. Now I saw that this wasn't drilled. The holes up here and the holes on, on the inside here. Now I was a bit, at first I was a bit annoyed by that. Because I was thinking, oh, they haven't drilled the holes. So I went and did some research on factory images. And in the factory, at least the Puma era, these holes, let's focus on that. These holes are drilled in the factory. These ones aren't. And these aren't drilled. So what they do is they fit this into the vehicle and then they drill from behind through these holes, which then creates the holes here, which they then rivet. And then these holes are the alignment for the next panel, which it does have drills, drilled holes. Where is that one? This one. So these, these holes are pre-drilled. They come and slot that up into here, which aligns that, which aligns these holes. And then they will drill through this bit of the body this is the bit, this bit's the rear tub, and then the C pillar behind. They will drill through that to set those holes. So, actually, that shouldn't be drilled from the factory. So, Warren did all right there, but these ones should be on here. So that's a bit of a annoyance. Now, maybe that's a decision on their part. I might ask them about that because what what it's saying is that the body and the C post are matched on the production line. So, because these aren't pre-drilled, so getting these holes to line up with the C-post, it's easier to probably just drill through this into the C-post. Also in the factory, what they do is, there's a big clamp that goes on here. They will clamp this together um, to drill those holes, which is probably what I need to do. And then this bit goes in a later step. In, in Puma models, this is more of a, single bracket that fits in here. Um, maybe it's a fixed alignment. So, the upshot is, that's annoying. I can live with the door. I kind of just want to know why it's not the same, considering the rest of it seems to just all bolt up correctly. This, I put the roof on and I had to, there's quite a lot of tension in this. I had to pull this across. So it means when I do the other side and take the roof off completely again, it might spring back, which might be annoying. So the upshot is that I'd like the door to be a bit better aligned, but it's not, that's okay. 
However, the rear tub, I would have to drill through these into the seat post and then fit the rivets, which is fine, except that I do want to replace the rear tub in future. So I don't want to drill the seat post and then have to re-drill it for another tub later to try and match them up. So I'm probably going to leave these off for the moment. I don't think it's going to be that long. Maybe within the next couple of years, I'll be getting a, a tub on here. I don't want to have to, you know, end up with like ovaled holes in the seat post and a rivet's not going to hold through that. You can get washers to go behind, but we'll see how it goes. I have to have a think about that. Um, and maybe similarly, and now I need to put this one back on. I need to put this sill post back on. Um, so anyway, I've been doing a bit of measuring. Take some of these measurements here. I'm trying to work out where the difference is, if any. And the one that I've seen, so this distance is the same on the side here. What I found is, see what I do this without blocking the camera. Taking from the point at which this, so keep this in line with the outer edge and then line it right up on the, where the corner meets this face here. This comes out as 267 millimetres, 26.7 centimetres. I get the original one. It's a bit crusty down here, but if I line that up, kind of on the face, along the line, that is 26 exactly. 260 so there's a seven millimeter difference on this edge YRM is seven millimeters longer which means this is lower so this on the YRM one is seven millimeters lower and if you kind of look it's actually further back because on here let's measure this bit from the point where it joins where it meets the C pillar that is about 27 millimetres here. Well, it's about the same. There's a lot of crud in here, but it's about 27. But this feels like it's further back. Well, it's certainly what well, it is compared to the body holes, it is further back. But the fact that it's lower means that this is higher because you can't put this entire C post down far enough. And based on the door measurements from this being at the lowest point and then the door seems to be about five, six, seven millimetres higher. So I think that is the critical bit that is that is messing up this whole geometry. If that was up slightly and that way slightly, it would be a perfect fit. Now, oh, I don't really know what to do, to be honest. Don't really know what to do. The ideal situation would be to just um, repair your old sills, probably, and do them one bit at a time, which is why they sell disassembled pieces, you know. Weld this to maybe replace the sill, and then do the C post, put it in here, and weld it and weld it all together on your existing vehicle. I do have ambitions of replacing the tub, as I said. So, um, you know, I'm going to end up with a kind of a Frankenstein approach, which is. Probably the worst thing you can do if you want a properly aligned body in a Defender. Because um, as I say, in the factory, the C posts are aligned to the specific tub that gets put on. They're not designed to be taken off and, and you know, it's a one-way process in that respect. You drill through the C pillar into the body. So, interesting. Um, if anyone's got any thoughts about that, has any experience with C posts and fitting all this, because this is really tight down here. This won't go any lower and I cannot get a gasket in there or anything as well yet yeah, there is room for this to move I think further so yeah if anyone's got any experience with this please leave a comment below as to this 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 bit actually lines up seems to be lined up quite properly I've put PVC tape on the rear tub section of the lip here um, this all lined up okay still with the original single washer in there uh, this is all nice These bolt holes, bolts went in their holes well. Um, I've got some replacement bolts to go in here. Yeah. 
Let me look at the colour match. Let's see if we can pick this up on camera. Can you see a colour difference there? You can obviously, this is newer. This is slight compared to the Alpine, or Fate 23 old Alpine white. Slightly greener. This is creamier. So I always thought Chawton was creamier, but there we go. These are hinges from New Takeoff. I bought these in 2010. They may be Chawton white, they may be faded Chawton white. There's always, there is a slight difference there, but it may be this paint in 10 years time. There we go. Uh, front door's gone on pretty well. No problem here actually. This one's got adjustment. Still adjustment, uh, the adjustment available, and it's gone back pretty much in the exact, I measured all this beforehand, put it back in the same position, it's pretty much just all worked, really. And um, these seals went on nicely. I've put PVC tape under here, I didn't do foam. Um, oh, you can see all the crud that comes out of my doors. And then underneath, Worked out a tree with the new um, with the new stud plate and that worked quite well. And all these holes do line up. I've got PVC tape there, but they do they do line up more or less. This one's slightly off, but it's you can get a bolt through there. This one's all right. And likewise, these are these are okay in here. They all pretty much line up on the sills, so those holes are in the right position. I did have to take the roof off entirely, so this is all unbolted and I put in wooden blocks at the front just to lift this up enough so I can get the lip under here. And uh, that's as much as I took off front two headlining sections. And then, but I had to take all the bolts down all the way to the end. I left the one, the last bolt in, but it hinges up just enough to get sort of four inches of wood in at the front. Gives you enough clearance to get the, the seat, the B posts in.